If you're going on a princess cruise, then you know that things are a little bit different, especially with the medallion. I'm gonna share with you the things you absolutely must do on your embarkation day to make it an absolutely perfect start. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, is there anything better than cruise embarkation day? I really think not. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the 10 plus, there's actually 13 things that you really wanna do to make your cruise embarkation day absolutely perfect when you are on a princess cruise. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Oh, and don't forget to leave your tips and thoughts in the comments below. Let's get started. One, arrive no earlier than 30 minutes before your check-in appointment time on your embarkation day. Now, just a little tip, if you haven't done this already, on your medallion class app that you're going to download before your cruise this is very important and absolute must when you are cruising with princess well what you're going to be able to do is about 30 days before your cruise you're going to be able to choose a check-in time now the very first group is actually at 11 30 so you can choose a time at 11 30 at 12 a little bit later if you like but there is a sign when you are heading into embarkation that says not to line up if you are earlier than 30 minutes before that appointment. Don't forget to bring your medallions if you've had them mailed to you. Now, if you haven't had them mailed to you, not to worry, there's going to be a place to pick them up right at embarkation. Honestly, it took us an extra five minutes, so it's really not a very big deal. And of course, your proof of vaccination, your negative test results, make sure that you bring that with you as well. Now, don't forget to fill in that health questionnaire that is on the Medallion Class app. That has to be filled out in the 24 hours before your cruise. Number two, make sure to pack a cruise carry-on bag with all of your necessities for the first day of your cruise up until your luggage arrives. And of course, this is the same on every cruise line. The things that you'll wanna pack are maybe your valuables, your medication, uh, phone chargers, basically anything that you might need. Now on Princess Cruises, you are allowed to bring wine on board if you like. Usually it's one bottle of wine per person that you don't have to pay an additional corkage fee when you do board. So if you do wanna do that, you can bring that with you as well. Now I usually bring a zippered tote bag and you could definitely use this when you're flying or for the cruise itself, or you can bring a backpack. Now I know a lot of people love this carry-on bag, so I will leave it linked in the description below in case you do want to check it out. Number three, picture this, you have walked along the gangway, you've boarded your ship. So what should you do next? Well, consider going and having a drink. Now, especially if this is your first cruise back, have a drink with your family, with your friends, and just toast to the fact that you are back on a cruise again. On our last cruise, which is our first cruise that we did after the pandemic, we decided to go over to Vines Bar on the Regal Princess and we had a mimosa. There is just something about mimosas that says celebration to me. And that's what we did. We took about 15, 20 minutes, had a mimosa, set a little cheers to this cruise ahead. Let me know, please, if you do usually get a drink right at the beginning when you do board a cruise ship or if you wait till a little later in the day. Number four, go and have some lunch. Now you could definitely head up to the buffet and honestly, Princess Cruises buffets are pretty good, but instead maybe consider some of the other restaurants that are available on your cruise ship. So you could usually go to the main dining room that will be open usually on embarkation day. And that is a pretty good option. However, if you have an Alfredo's on your cruise ship and most Royal uh, class ships do have them, that is honestly probably the best kept secret food-wise on Princess Cruise Ships. It is so good. Not only can you have pizza, but you can have calzones, veal stuffed ravioli, a delicious mozzarella salad, uh, tiramisu. I could just go on and on. It is really that good. Most people don't know about it. So I do suggest that you head there on embarkation day. Number five, watch your safety video or do your e-muster right from your phone or your device. Now you could actually do this while you're eating lunch. We did that, we just turned on my phone and we were able to watch the safety video because Princess now doesn't have the traditional mustard drill anymore where everybody had to gather. So this is a pretty good option. You could do this well, you could kind of multitask while you eat lunch. Now at the end, just to let you know, when you do watch that safety video, it's probably about 15 minutes. When you are done with that at any point in time before sail away, you'll have to go over to your muster station and you'll have to do a check-in with a crew member. 
Now, if you don't wanna multitask and do this on your phone, not to worry, when you do get to your cruise cabin, you're gonna be able to turn your stateroom TV on and you could watch the safety video from your stateroom. And then again, just go down and do your check-in with a crew member, but you could even do this while unpacking. Number six, set up your medallion net if you have taken Princess's cruise ship Wi-Fi. And as well, um, make sure that you do have the medallion class app downloaded to your phone if maybe you haven't done that already before getting on your cruise ship make sure that you have done that take a look through some of the features make sure that everything is working well you will have staff members that are there especially on the first day but even after that that you can ask for help with all of the different ocean medallion features Number seven, drop your bags off in your cabin. Now, depending on when you board your cruise ship, you may want to drop your bags off before you eat lunch. When we boarded our cruise ship, we boarded, I guess, somewhere before noon and the cabins were not accessible yet to the passengers. So obviously that is something for you to decide. Now, don't forget when you do go into your cruise cabin to put away your valuables. So you will have a safe that is in, uh, in your cabin, in the closet area, just open up that closet door and you'll see it. So don't forget to put away your passport, your money, uh, maybe your proof of vaccines, um, anything that is valuable, your jewelry, put that into your cruise cabin safe. Now this is also of course a great time to take those photos and those videos of your cabin because it's never going to look this clean and neat again for the rest of your cruise. Number eight, meet your cruise cabin attendant. Now I'm gonna tell you something in a minute that I did that I usually don't do on a cruise, but first let me tell you, when you do meet your cruise cabin attendant, it's a good time, uh, he'll introduce himself or she'll introduce uh, herself and you can introduce yourself as well. And of course, this is also a good time to ask for anything that you do need. If you notice on a lot of my videos, you'll see that I have a lot of hangers that I do have in my closet. So I usually ask the cruise cabin attendant for a lot of extra hangers at that time because I like to hang my clothes up. You may want to ask for extra towels. If you don't have bathrobes already um, in your cabin, you can ask for those things as well. Now, something that I did, and I'm not saying that this is something that you need to do, but I did when meeting my cabin attendant, I did give him an extra an additional, I guess, pre-cruise tip, if you will. Now I did prepay my gratuities and usually at the end of the cruise, I do give a certain amount over and above and that's my choice. So that's completely optional. But this time I did decide to give a little something at the beginning of the cruise. I've always had mixed feelings about it to be perfectly honest because I never wanted uh, them to get something and then feel that that's why they're doing the extra. And I always find the services very good. Uh, but in this case, I decided to, because to be perfectly honest, I really feel for the crew that have um, been on cruise ships and their livelihood. It's just been very difficult for them. So I decided to with really no expectations, but I have to say um, the service, as I've mentioned in past videos, the service was amazing on Princess and our cabin attendant. We really appreciated everything he did and uh, we definitely did tip an additional amount. He seemed very appreciative at the same time and it was just, well, something we decided to do. Now, I know a lot of people do this, so if you feel comfortable, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Number nine, go to the Ocean Medallion Orientation. Now, if this is your first Princess Cruise or if you have some questions or you've never used the Ocean Medallion before, this is really a good place to go to get the information that you are going to need. Now, usually this is around two or 2.30 on embarkation day, if I'm not mistaken, but do check out the Princess Powder, that's the cruise planner, or you could even take a look at your app if you have figured that out and you could see when it is scheduled, but this is definitely something good to go to and get all the information that you need. Number 10, have fun and explore the cruise ship. Now, Princess cruise ships, I have to say, there are a lot of different levels. There are some elevators that don't go to every floor. So you want to explore this cruise ship from top to bottom, from aft to forward. You wanna make sure that you see everything. If you like the sports deck, make sure that you do check this out. Sometimes it's easy to not even know that there's an entire section of the cruise ship that you should check out. Number 11, if there is something that you really want to sign up for, for instance, the sanctuary, or maybe for the chef's table, make sure that you do this. Actually, this probably should be earlier in the video because as soon as possible after you board. These are very, very popular things that tend to really book up. So make sure to do this as soon as possible. 
Other things that you could reserve on the very first day of your cruise if you haven't reserved them already is spa appointments, specialty dining. So those are all things that you might wanna do as soon as possible when you board your cruise. Number 12, make sure that you have a plan for what you are going to be doing for sail away. Are you going to be spending sail away with the dancers up on the Lido deck? Or are you gonna be spending sail away maybe in your own cabin on the balcony with some champagne or a drink and the person you love? The choice is yours, but make sure whatever you do that you don't kind of nap through sail away. It is pretty momentous when you think about it, your ship is going to be pulling away uh, from the shore and you have adventures ahead of you. This is a vacation that you've been longing for. So make sure that you do take the time to enjoy it. Number 13, make sure that you unpack. Now, I always find right after sail away is a good time because you've experienced your sail away, you've explored your cruise ship, and you usually have at least an hour or two before you're gonna be heading for dinner. So this is a really good time. Unpack your bags, freshen up. Don't make the mistake of living out of your suitcase. For the cruise, I have sailed with people who did that and they honestly really did regret it. Now, if you are wondering how to unpack and organize your cruise cabin, I'm gonna leave a video right after this one. It's actually on a princess cruise in a deluxe balcony cabin. It'll give you an idea of exactly how we unpacked and how we organized our cabin. And I think that you would really find it helpful. Now, I'd love to hear from you if you've sailed with princess before, what are your must do's for cruise embarkation day? Or if you're sailing with princess for the first time, please leave your questions in the comments below. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.